Hi, welcome to the course Data Mining with Weka. I'm Ian Witten from the University of Waikato in New Zealand and I'm presenting the videos for this course which has been prepared by the Department of Computer Science at the University of Waikato. Data mining is a mature technology that a lot of people are beginning to take very seriously and a lot of other people find it mysterious. And the real aim of this course is to take the mystery out of data mining. This is a practical course on how to use the Weka workbench, which you will download as part of the course for data mining. And we explain the basic principles of several popular data mining algorithms and how to use them in practical applications. So in the world today, we're overwhelmed with data. Every time you swipe your credit card, every item you check out of the supermarkets, every time you send a text or make a phone call or send an email or type a key on a computer, even every time you walk past a security camera, it all generates a little bit of data in the database. And data mining is about going from the raw data to information, information that can be used to make predictions, predictions that are useful in the real world. So let me give you an example. You're at the supermarket checkout that will record every item you've bought. And uh, at the end, uh, you hand over your loyalty card and they give you a couple of percent off and uh, you give them your name and address and indirectly access to all sorts of demographic information about you and people like you. Everybody likes a good bargain. And it's been a good day today because uh, thanks to those coupons they sent you in the mail last week, you've been able to stock up on some things you wouldn't normally have bought, but you bought today because they're such a good deal. Next week, they'll send you some more coupons and uh, you'll go shopping again and buy some more stuff. They do little experiments on you, you know, they try and figure out how much more of something you'd buy if the price was just that little bit less. And these coupons are kind of a mechanism for personalized pricing. They've got access to all sorts of data from you and people like you in order to do these experiments and figure these things out. So everybody wins. You get your bargains, they sell more stuff. It sounds like a good deal to me. Here's another application. Supposing you and your partner want a child, but you can't have one. Of course, it, it's fun trying, but uh, it can get a little bit frustrating and ultimately very frustrating, perhaps even tragic. So in artificial insemination, they take some eggs from the woman's ovaries and they fertilize them with partner or donor sperm and then they select from amongst the embryos that are produced some to implant back into the womb. You want to select the ones with the best chance of success producing a live birth, but you don't want too many live births. So the embryologist has got access to all sorts of data on, uh, on these embryos. I think there's 50 to 100 uh, pieces of information that they record about individual embryos. And they've got historical data on uh, which ones produced a live birth, a success. So here's an ideal situation for data mining. We've got lots of historical data, we've got data on the present situation, and uh, we want to select those embryos that have the best chance of success. Now that's a good application of data mining, bringing a live child to a couple who wants one. Uh, I talk about data mining and machine learning. Data mining is really the application and machine learning is the algorithms that we use. So we're talking about using machine learning algorithms for the purposes of data mining. So the next question, this is data mining with Weka. What's Weka? Well, this is a Weka here. This uh, little bird, it's a flightless bird, kind of like its better known cousin, the kiwi, found only in the islands of New Zealand. Uh, and uh, this is what it sounds like. coming to you from New Zealand. However, in our context, Weka is a data mining workbench. It's an acronym for the Waikato Environment for Knowledge Analysis. We just call it Weka. And it contains a large number of algorithms for classification and a lot of algorithms for data pre-processing, feature selection, clustering, finding association rules, things like that. It's a very comprehensive workbench and it's free open source software which you will download as part of this course in the next lesson. It uh, runs on uh, any computer, 
It's written in Java, runs on Linux, Windows, Mac, and you'll be able to download it and run it on your workstation and use it during the course. So you're going to learn how to load data into Weka and look at it. You're going to learn about pre-processing, cleaning up data using filters, exploring and using visualization, applying classification algorithms, interpreting the output, understanding evaluation methods. Evaluation is very important in this area. Understand various representations for models and how popular machine learning algorithms work. And be aware of common pitfalls with data mining. The ultimate goal really is to empower you to use Weka on your own data and most importantly to understand what it is that you're doing. So this is the first class and in this class uh, you're going to get started with Weka, you're going to install it, you're going to explore the Weka Explorer interface and explore some data sets, build a classifier, interpret the output of the classifier, use filters and visualize your data set. So there's lots of things to do in this class. Here's the structure of the course. There's five classes altogether, and each class consists of about six lessons. So class one, getting started with Weka. Then we're going to look at evaluation in class two, simple classifiers in class three, more classifiers in class four, and putting it all together in class five. And uh, these are the lessons in uh, Class one, six lessons. Each lesson comprises a short video, five to ten minutes, like this one, followed by an activity, an activity that involves you doing something yourself. You know, you don't learn by me talking to you. You learn by actually doing things. So we have lots of activities for you that involve using the Weka workbench. In the middle of the class is a mid-class assessment, and at the end there's a post-class assessment. And uh, the marks for these are combined. If you get more than 70%, uh, you're going to get a signed certificate from the University of Waikato certifying that you've completed this course. The activities are important parts of the course, but they're not part of the assessment. So we really think you should do the activities, but you don't have to do them for assessment purposes. It's up to you. As well as that, associated with the course is a textbook called Data Mining. It discusses data mining and Weka in depth and it's a great book. I know it's a great book because I wrote it myself with a couple of friends. And the publisher has kindly agreed to make available a large chunk of this textbook to you online so that you can use it for background reading. But it's only background reading. You don't have to uh, read the textbook. Um, if you, just if you want to delve into some of the ideas and algorithms in more depth, depth that's what it's there for. What you uh, need to do is the activities and the assessments and watch the videos, of course. So that's it. I just thought I'd show you where I am. Uh, I'm in New Zealand. That's where Weka is from. That's where I'm sitting right now. This is the world as we see it in New Zealand. We're at the top. You're probably down at the bottom somewhere. We're at the top in the center, and that arrow to the North Island of New Zealand is where the University of Waikato is. So that's it for now. There is an activity associated with this lesson, so go ahead and do it. Of course, you haven't learned very much in this lesson, so it's not a very important activity. Don't worry about it too much. You're not expected to do a lot of reading to do this activity. Just have a go and see how you get on, and uh, then I'll see you again in the next lesson. I'm looking forward to that. Bye for now.